out here outside the school investigating, but we just learned that another person has died, bringing the total to two. Of course, I'm very concerned because this happened on our grounds. And anything that's even close to our schools, you know, we're always very concerned. Uh, we will fully cooperate with CPD. They're great partners for us. Uh, we're going to get the facts. Um, but as, as the superintendent said, first, we want to first make sure that, you know, we really have the, fa the victims in our prayers. Yeah, the CPS CEO and the superintendent had a joint press conference just a short moment ago. Now, according to CPD, the shooting happened just before 2 p.m. outside Benito Juarez High School, and just as students were being dismissed for the school day, police say there are two other victims at Stroger Hospital in serious condition. We spoke with a parent whose son is a sophomore at the high school. The parent is also a crossing guard, and he tells us he heard multiple shots go off, and students were immediately rushed back inside the school. School. He says he saw two teens with backpacks on the ground with blood. He's terrified by what he witnessed and says he's faced with a tough decision of whether or not to send his son back to school on Monday. I am afraid, I am scared, but he still has to get educated. Uh -huh. If I have to give my life for him or for somebody else, for him, I will do it. A motive has not been determined yet, and it's also unclear how many suspects police are looking for, but at this time, no one is in custody. CPS says that school counselors will be available to support students. We are live in Pilsen. Andrea Medina, WGN News.